J, Route22.com here with a quick cheap wine reviews. What, what am I doing here again? Yeah, cheap wine reviews. Let me get this case. I got a case of this uh, saddle bread cellars. Let me get this out of my way. God, I'm really not uh, organized today. Anyway, today we're going to check out the Peacock Creek Shiraz from Australia. 2016. Got a scored a good deal over uh, at uh, Shoprite Wines and Liquor or Spirits, whatever it's called. I think it's $5.99 a bottle. Couldn't really find anything about it online. It's uh, imported by this uh, company called Monsieur Touton. They don't list anything. There's no notes. There's no write-up about it. I love it. That this is something that I really uh, can enjoy because there's nothing pretentious. It's just 14 percent. It's $5.99 a bottle. Get rid of this. This is uh, we don't need. That. $5.99 a bottle. I love. First of all, I like the way it tastes watered down. That's a big, big key. Ah. I'm going to do a real quick, uh, straight up taste. I'm not going to tell you what it tastes like. I'm just going to tell you if it's good or not. I'm not going to sniff it. I'm just going to freaking drink it. It's not as good as the Saddlebread. Pinot Noir, which we tried uh, last time, and this was only 12%. Real quick note, even though this is 12%, you think I could drink two bottles and, and be okay? This really didn't pass the two bottle test because the way I drink it, when I drink two bottles, I always water it down a certain percentage and that keeps me hydrated and also prevents the bad hangover. Because this wine tasted great straight, it didn't taste like anything when I watered it down. So I had to make a higher concentration of you know wine to water. So instead of doing at least two, you know, one part water, one part wine, I did like almost, you know, two parts wine, one part water, and, and I think I drank it too strong. Uh, two bottles, no, no. I, I need to be able to water it down sufficiently so I can maintain a level of hydration because you, you tend to forget to drink in between. If I drank straight up, I would have to drink like, you know, a quart of wine in between glass glasses. I don't know. But this, I'll tell you right now, has a very nice, well-balanced taste. There's nothing, you know, like striking about it in any particular way. It just tastes good. Uh, both straight, let me just taste one more time. No, it tastes just fine. Okay. For the wine snobs out there, sure, it's not as, as sophisticated, multi-layered, but it's it's um, a pleasant, non-offensive. <sighs> Stop thinking about wine so much. It, it's good. It doesn't bother me. Mm. Nice, nice, uh, nice, smooth taste. Okay, so I'm not going to go on and on about it today, but for five ninety nine and fourteen percent, it's a good deal. And it works watered down better than, than some of the other wines I've had. I mean, there's some wines that are fantastic watered down, uh, where you can water it down almost one part wine to two parts water, and it, it's like really hydrating. It's a great summer drink. But now it's getting cold. I think it's below freezing tonight. Um, this works out well. I think uh, one to one, uh, even more watered down uh, than, than, you know, some of the other weaker, weaker ones. So that's it. I'll come back. I think my battery's dying on this on this uh, camera, but I'll come back um, if I make it past uh, a bottle or two. Uh, that's it. We'll see what happens. Hey, I'm back here with uh, this. Is a I really do a, a second take. I normally do two takes, like a first and a finish. But I'm going to open up the second bottle right live on uh, the NJRoot22.com pre-recorded, uh, what do you call it, cheap wine reviews vlog. But what I wanted to talk about real quick here as I crack into the bottle number two, and by the way, this is pre-hydrated, um, this is two to one. I'm going to do two to one, two parts water, one part wine. Well, 
obviously the, the cup gets wider. Yeah, maybe it's like 1.5 to 0.75, who knows. Um, I put the cord behind me because it made, it, it kind of framed my face funny. I didn't like the way it looked. And I totally forgot why I'm doing the second part here. Oh, a lot of people like pay like great respect to wine reviewers and all these snooty people that have authority when in the wine industry. Industry as a, industry, in industry as a, our president says. So look at this, I'm pouring the wine in and boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that looks like it was about you know, a third, you know, a fifth of the bottle. And I spilled it all over my workbench. I have a paper towel somewhere, but I'll clean it up later. I think way too many people put some, I, I have some towels here, I'll be right back. Oh, here's one. Um, they put too much worth in what other people have to say. And like, and that sort of like contradicts what I'm doing here. But this is more of a conversation than it is me telling you. Well, I mean, I think I'm a little bit of an authority when it comes to the phoniness of the wine industry. and. But you can't believe me. You have to like, like look, look at it yourself. You have to look at it yourself and say, what am I buying into? What am I buying into? Challenge everything. Challenge me. I don't care. Please challenge me because I would love to have a conversation because everybody I've had conversations with about the, the ridiculousness or, or the, or the almost like absurd aspect of the wine industry and, oh, and the fanciness and like you, you have to tiptoe around everybody no no stop tiptoeing around if you're gonna pay forty dollars or a hundred dollars for a bottle of wine what are you paying for exactly is my point just because like it's it's almost exactly, it mirrors the, the, the whole um, art industry. Like supply and demand and, and popularity. You think about it. Like an artist, like you can find a good artist that, that's like barely making a living, that makes beautiful work that you like, okay? The minute it becomes work that everybody likes or because like people start reviewing it and like it becomes popular and then the price goes up and for no reason, it's supply and demand usually dictates price. Like for instance, if like, you know, if something is in short supply, the price usually goes up. Um, and if it's, in, if it's in great abundance, the price usually goes down. That's how capitalism works, you know. It's like it's like if we have too much of it, we're not going to be able to sell it if it if everybody has it. And, and the minute one person sells it for less, and the next person has to sell it for less, and people always gravitate towards the lower price. But it's the opposite in like things like the art industry, and I, I'm sure you could pick up on other things. Uh, like for instance, a car. Like a Mercedes uh, S550, right? Or a or whatever it's called, S550. Ah, man, that's refreshing. This is this is very good, very good. It's worth more. It's a hundred grand. It's like a hundred thousand dollar car because the quality of the component. It's not as cheap as a Toyota Corolla. Think about it. It's better physically. It's like it has better components. It's a larger car. It's made with better leather. It has solid doors. It's gonna last longer. Well, let's just not talk about it. It's gonna cost more to fix, da, 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 da. But regardless, the car is worth more because it is worth more. But when you, when you have a 750 milliliter bottle of wine, how can you say one is worth 5.99 like this, okay? And how is something worth $50 or $100 or $300 a bottle? What makes this liquid inside that much more costly? It's not like, hey, this is tin and this is gold. 
I mean, it's it's opinion. It's 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 um, I guess reputation. It's it's nonsense when you think about it. Um, alcohol, like wine, gives you a buzz. That's one aspect of it. The second aspect, and only the second. There's really only two aspects. There's the buzz. And then, how does it taste? Well, and then of course, our little thing is how do you feel the next day, uh, depending on how much you drink, how crappy do you feel? And then there's another layer they throw in there just to freaking complicate them. And oh, how does it pair with this food? Pairing, pairing, pairing. No, stop pairing, please. Drink what you want and eat what you want. Who gives a crap? Does anybody ever pair like a Diet Dr. Pepper with something? Hey, this Diet Dr. Pepper fit, pairs better with a Whopper than it does with a, a Big Mac. No! No, 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 no. It bothers me to no end that they add all this stuff into the mix to confuse people. Gosh, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. And again, I will not deny the fact that there are differences in quality. I'm sure, like, I mean, I'd be more interested in the chemical composition of the, you know, like, like, like poisons and, and toxins and, and, and so on. Um, and I would love to see a, a nutrition facts on the back of these bottles, like carbs, uh, sugar, um, protein, fat, and all that other stuff, but they ne they don't require that on alcohol. I, I don't know. What, 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 even if it's nothing and it's insignificant, I'd still want to see that label. I mean, it's, it sucks that they don't have that label. I'm rambling here. Um, but my, my middle thing is that people tend to go to wines when these people, when these reviewers or these high profile celebrities have something to say about something and and that to me really drives me nuts because $5.99 how come no like wine spectator magazine is talking about this I mean I'm sure they do and I don't read that crap on purpose I will not I, I stumble on it every now and then but they feature these things and I don't know how many tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers they have that read it and follow along like puppets, like little, like little lemmings. Oh, hey, this uh, blank, blank creek wine was great. Let's go buy it because somebody wrote words about it. <sighs> Again, I mean, I'm sort of doing the same thing here, so I'm kind of contradicting myself. At least I'm honest. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm giving a, a shout out to the, the un, under underrated um, companies. Peacock Creek, Shiraz, Shiraz, I don't know, is it Z silent, Shiraz, Shiraz, do you have to say Shiraz? I don't know, I don't give a crap. To me, it's a Shiraz, okay? I like it, I like it. Who knows, I may feel like hell tomorrow. I may be on a fucking gurney in the morning. I don't know. I may have to send uh, Curtis a thank you card because this this is actually a really really good wine. For now, I may wake up in the morning and send uh, Curtis a uh, some sort of uh, suspicious package. Just kidding. <laughs> Why do I have to even say just kidding? You know I'm just kidding. Why do I have to like like cover my bases? Oh yeah, I better I better say just kidding just in case somebody uh, calls the cops on me because I made a some sort of weird threat oh it's suspicious but you know shut the f up by the way i'm, I'm gonna put a little uh, link here to uh i hope to a uh, tim hawkins what are christian curse words if you can't use curse words it's it's hilarious please see this video it, it's the pat sajak and bob barker and uh references had me crying it was pretty good but anyway that's it I'm going to come back when I'm done with this and, and say good night and so on and so forth. It's freezing. It's like 30 something degrees. Um, and that's it. I really think it's important. I'll, I'll, I'll just 
say this really quickly. It's important to realize that nobody's important, including myself. Nobody's important when it comes to what you like. Um, try not to let people, like the popular culture and, the, and the, the trends of the world dictate what you like. And you know, just because everybody likes it and it's cool to like it or whatever it may be, don't let that guide you. You, you like what you like. You shouldn't, like, this is why I like the fact that there was no write-up on this and the fact that I couldn't find a single solitary thing said about this Peacock Creek wine online. I wasn't looking for it. I just wanted to see if there was something I could reference. And the fact that there's nothing, that kind of makes me happy, you know? It's like maybe no one caught on to it. Maybe they didn't buy off the right people. Maybe they didn't, I don't know, pad the pockets of the, of the people that control the wine media. You know, just think about it. The media, they have media too. They have what, I don't know, half a dozen wine magazines and wine websites. I don't think any any of these other wine um, publications, or I don't think there even are any, but they're independent blogs like, like mine that, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not using the right key keywords. I'm gonna put a lot of Peacock Creek into my keywords for this, this uh, blog post, as well as YouTube video, and the half a dozen uh, or quarter dozen, uh, I think I use Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, and Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest, I hate Pinterest. You have to create these tall, no. I think I'm gonna delete almost everything except, uh, except uh, Instagram. I think I'm just gonna keep Instagram, maybe Twitter. I don't know how many followers we have, but uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest are left. I think I'm just gonna keep Instagram. Uh, I heard that's uh, the way to go. But Instagram doesn't get people to your website, so you have to put all sorts of graphics and like, hey, come here. And, uh, I don't know. I don't like social media. Sorry. Five ninety nine. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention one thing. Most of the websites had this, they said list price was $13.99, and most websites had this for uh, uh, on sale for $9.99, 10 bucks a bottle. So if you find it at ShopRite uh, Wines and Spirits, or Wines and Liquors, or Liquors and Wines, or Wines and Spirits, whatever it's called, it's $5.99 a bottle. Buy a case. It, it's, it's good. I'll let you know tomorrow how, it, how I feel. But I love rambling. I, I really do. I, there's not too many people in this world that can can appreciate how people can invent themselves or reinvent themselves as they're speaking and then and come up with something new to say. Um, they, they just want easily edited and, oh, we said this, we said that, and that's the end. Oh, graphics, music. No. This is, this is long. You should probably be watching while you're like getting some sort of IV drip or something. I, I don't think anybody would have a half an hour to watch me ramp. Because it's not that funny unless you're my friend and you're just standing around and we're just doing stuff. Um, that's it. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video, finish this bottle, and I'll come back with a recap. Hey there, NJ, Route22.com, third take. Final take for the uh, Peacock Creek Shiraz 2016 from Australia. <clears throat> I like it. The Peacock Creek wine was great. I will add in, in the comments section if I was like, whoa, dizzy for three days, I, I'll mention it. But if, if I don't mention it, if I don't mention that it was it was like bad in any way, then just assume it was it passed the test. So I'm done trying to say if it passed the test. I like it. I like this wine for 5.99. God damn, it's a good deal. 
even if I feel a little bit crappy tomorrow, it's still a good deal because it was only $5.99. The wine passed the test.